Assalamu alaikum my dear students how are you hope all of you are fine by the blessing of almighty allah welcome to our online platform NIEVS home school this is mohammad abul kalam assistant teacher of national ideal english version school day shift today i am going to conduct a social science class for the students of class 2 our today's topic is fill in the blanks mcq and gk portion one word question answer i repeat our today's topic is fill in the blanks mcq from social science and gk part one word question answer dear students look here this is our lecture number 12 and is the number 11 to on our annual term syllabus i repeat this is our lecture number 12 and is the number 11 to on our annual term syllabus so dear students of class two let's start our class at first we will have fill in the blanks so look at both fill in the gaps or blanks number 12 that is the abundance of valuable resources so look here that is the abundance of valuable resources here the correct answer is oil oil is the abundance or oil means the abundance of valuable resources so follow me i am writing w e a l t h so look what i have written here this oil w e a l t h oil is the or oil is the abundance of valuable resources now 30 number school colleges are our dash oil so look here school colleges are our social oil we know there are two types of oil one is social another one is national so school and colleges are our social oil so look school and colleges are our social oil now number 14 bangladesh is a dash country by Bangladesh is a country by area okay that means Bangladesh is a small country by area we all know that Bangladesh is a small country by area but we have a large population or huge population small what I have written here small s m a double l small country by area number 15 the growth of population was very the growth of population was very high is i g is so look the growth of population was very high is i g is high or very large last fill in the blanks it is doctors makes us soil or doctor cures our disease makes us soil w e double l full stop so look doctors makes us soil w e double l so dear students we have finished our five fill in the blanks now we have multiple choice questions or mcq in short mcq full form is multiple choice questions only two number 14 green light dash cars to go so look here green light permits car to go dear students we have learned from our social science book that red light stops car to go or forbids cars to go on the other hand green light permits car to go now 15 number multiple choice questions earthquakes destroy gaff a roads yes b houses yes and c number both a and b that means c number is the proper answer earthquake destroys destroys roads and houses both a and b that means we have finished our fill in the blank session and multiple choice question session now we have general knowledge segment it is one word question answer so look at number one i have given here 14 one word question answer okay i am telling give your maximum attention to understand number one when was the liberation war of bangladesh started look on 26 march 1971 the liberation war of bangladesh started number two how long was the liberation war of bangladesh continued answer about nine months so look about nine months three 
who was the commander in chief of the liberation war of bangladesh answer colonel or colonel m a g usmani i repeat it is colonel or colonel m a g usmani that means we have finished our one word question answer up to three now we will go to our next page to start from four so look here four what is written here here it is written four who first read the declaration of independence on behalf of bangabandhu sheik mujibur rahman so look i am telling again who first read the declaration of independence on behalf of bangabandhu sheik mujibur rahman answer major jiaur rahman so look at the answer it is major jiaur rahman now fifth how many sectors were in bangladesh during the liberation war you have already known this okay look the answer is 11 sectors number 6 how many persons have been awarded the title bir shreshtho answer 7 persons number 7 who is the who is the author of our national anthem so look who is the author of our national anthem or who is the writer of our national anthem our sonar bangla that means that means amar sonar bangla ami tomaye bhalobashi ओके रवींद्रनाथ टैगोर हेज रिटर्न दिस नैशनल एंथम रवींद्रनाथ ठाकुर और टैगोर ओके नाउ नंबर एट हू इज द नैशनल पॉइंट ऑफ बांग्लादेश एंसर काजी नजरुल इस्लम लुक एट द एंसर ओके काजी नजरुल इस्लम इज द नैशनल पॉइंट ऑफ बांग्लादेश नाउ नाइन नंबर व्हाट इज द नैशनल मार्क्स ऑफ बांग्लादेश सो लुक व्हाट इज द नैशनल मार्क्स ऑफ बांग्लादेश एंसर बैतुल मुकर्रम मार्क्स So look, answer is Baitul Mukarram marks. Okay, number eleven. What is the national day of Bangladesh? Answer twenty six March. Don't forget to write twenty six March. Okay, now eleven. What is the national Jew of Bangladesh? Answer Dhaka Jew at Mirpur. So look, what is the national Jew of Bangladesh? It is Dhaka Jew. Okay, at Mirpur. It is located at Mirpur in Dhaka. 12 number what is the national museum of bangladesh answer national museum and it is located at shahabag in dhaka so look the national museum the name of the national museum is national museum it is located at shahabag in dhaka now 13 number one word question answer which is the largest mosque of bangladesh answer baitul mukarram so look this one is also the largest mosque of bangladesh and it is also the if we go to the Uh, question number 9 it is also the national mosque of bangladesh okay the answer is same which is the largest mosque of bangladesh baitul mukarram now 14 which is the smallest district of bangladesh answer meherpur what is written here meherpur that means meherpur is the smallest district of bangladesh dear students i request you to look at the end of our board so look what is written here it is written homework one word question answer 1 to 5 only answer okay uh, let me tell you again so look here one word question answer 1 to 5 only so look 1 2 3 4 and 5 this 5 so that means 1 to 5 is are your sw one word question answer my dear students no need to pick up the sentences i am telling you again no need to pick up the sentences whenever you will sit for doing your sw you will write the number of homework then lecture then date then the title one word question answer then then only the answer 1 to 5 my dear students i am very much happy to share it with you that means with this class we have finished our 50 marks social science class i repeat with this class we have finished our social science 50 marks class now i request all of my students keep practicing at home and abide by your parents advice see you again inshallah assalamu alaikum